Okay, so here we are on Star Citizen. I'm currently attempting to set up my basic controls on the Xbox controller. Um, and uh, the first thing that I'm going to deal with, of course, is the, is the flight, the movement of the ship. Um, and I'm primarily going to be using the controller just for dogfighting. So I don't need all of the additional like view commands and stuff like that. Just targeting and movement. And that's pretty much it. If I'm going to switch to anything else, if I'm going to be, you know, parking the ship or something like that, I'm going to switch to my other controls, and, and that's how that's going to work. At any rate, so to begin with, I noticed, uh, uh, you know, that I didn't like the way it's set up at all. Um, and I'm glad that they finally allow you to fully control your, your controller profiles. Um, but the first thing that I'm running into is... You know, when I go to actually set specific things, like when I originally programmed the pitch to be the Y-axis on the right thumbstick, great. Well, so it's got pitch up and pitch down is up and down. Okay, that's good. What's the difference between this and these two uh, is the question. And it took me quite a while to get it to actually register the up and the down here and the left and the right. And, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you this, what I'm talking about. I <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it to go back, so uh, you know I'm going to I'm going to show you this anyway, <laughs> just because it's kind of frustrating me. Um, but uh, here we go. I want this to be on the x-axis, so I push over on the x-axis. But I want the yaw right to go right, so I push to the right and it rebinds it x-axis. I was pushing to the right on the controller. Why is it not recognizing that? And so here I am tapping to the right and I found out if you want it to actually go to the right you have to try a little bit and sometimes wiggle the controller back and forth and there finally it picked up to the right on the right thumbstick I don't know what I'm doing wrong or if there's some kind of setting for the joystick itself that I've messed up uh, it just doesn't make any sense that that wouldn't you know know that right is the option. I mean, x-axis shouldn't be an option for a specific directional yaw. Um, the other thing that I've noticed, and so as you can see, my rolls I've put is my shoulder buttons, which is, you know, the right bumper and left bumper. Um, throttle, I'm, you know, I'm still messing with that. Uh, but throttle up and down, you know, I'd like to use the left trigger, okay? Now, the left trigger is an analog button. It doesn't just read pressed or not pressed. You can read a partial pull or, you know, a complete let go. So what I, I ideally like is when I'm fully pulled down that I'm going maximum thrust forward and I, when I fully let go that I basically, you know, am no longer thrusting in that particular direction. So I'm hoping that's what it does. <laughs> I'm not really sure at this point. I'm still trying to figure that out. Uh, the throttle up and the down is obviously for set specific throttle but you know in a thruster situation you're thrusting only when you're holding it down and I will be turning ICS off so so you know we'll see how this works out I'm not really sure uh, now I'm trying to set my strafe up and down right so obviously I can click here and I can go y-axis and that's what I want my strafe up and down to be attached to but similar to the yaw and the pitch I want it to actually say strafe up and push up on on the uh, on the left thumbstick. So I go over here to do that, and boom, it rebinds to the Y axis. It's not actually binding to the direction up for some reason. I'm just you know trying to make it. I it, I just I can't get it to I can't get it to work. I don't know if this is a bug or if there's something I'm doing wrong with the controller. So any help that I can get from you guys would be fantastic. Uh, thank you very much.